Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to play The Amazing Spider-Man on the PS3. Never played this game before. All I remember always wanting to play it though, back in 2012 I think. Uh, but I bought it a few months ago and uh, I'm going to get started with it today. So yeah, let's get the PS3 on. Oh, look at that. Always love the PS3 startup. So yeah, let's get into it. The amazing Spider-Man. I missed that intro. And this one. Progress. Nature to man. Man to machine. The path to our future. Oscorp. The Oscorp of today is evolving, and innovative technology needs a guiding hand. Under the direction of Dr. Alistair Smythe, the betterment and security of human life has become our one goal. His mastery of nanotechnology and macro robotics will guide Oscorp Industries to a better and brighter tomorrow. Nanobots, what are they? Imagine a robot, now imagine 400 of them, standing on a dime. A microscopic army working on a molecular level. Their size is their strength, and their potential is limitless. Dr. Alistair Smythe will usher in a new era of progress for Oscorp and mankind. Oscorp, a new company with the name you trust. Peter, what are you doing here? I'm here to get you out of this asylum. But you put me here. And there's good reason. I can't... I know, it's crazy. But time's running out, Connors. Something bad has happened. Something really bad. Thanks for being with me, Pete. You're brave. We're gonna have to be careful here. I'm not supposed to be here after hours. I hope it's better than the first time I snuck in. That was not fun. We're not sneaking. We're investigating. Weird things happen here after hours. Stuff that Dr. Smythe's trying to get rid of. He's not a bad guy, you know? He wants to turn his company around. Yeah, that's what the video said. So, what exactly is rotten in the state of Oscorp? I think you're continuing Dr. Connor's work. Cross-species experiments. Come on. Whoa, whoa, no. Like, making more lizards? Making more everything. I I'm not sure. We'll find out tonight. 
Oscorp has the geniuses and the resources. Why can't it be a benefit to people? That's why I came back. And Dr. Smythe wants to change things. I know. His brilliant research will usher in a new era for all of humanity. Huh. Okay, just wait a second. Progress. Graphics aren't too bad. finding you here now as I waste my time trying to dispose of these cross species. So this is a cross species? You promised me that all of Connor's work was over. How many more do we keep here? I told you the truth, Gwen. The experiments have stopped, just not as early as I'd hoped. No more humans turning into animals like Connor's did. But what you see here is what happens when an animal gets a nice dose of human DNA. Here, follow me. I trust you'll keep everything you see in the strictest confidence. the city. Well, what rational mind would continue to create these things? Changing the ethics of a large corporation takes time. Now, some scientists argue that these pathetic creatures have some benefit, but they lost in that argument. As of tonight, these cross species disappear. We're shipping them to our bio lab for safe disposal. Out of sight, out of mind. Uh, has this thing eaten today? It always looks like that. They went farther with Connor's work than we realized. The species in this room are incredibly dangerous, highly contagious. Hence the containment units. Hey, where'd he go? Come on out, little fella. That little fella is a walking disease. Any direct contact with it leads to infection. Infection leads to death. Or becoming a cross-species yourself. I want to keep you human, Parker. Let's keep moving. Is there a cure? Well, for these things, no. They were never human to begin with. They were born in a petri dish. For the poor humans it infects, unfortunately not. Attempts to develop an antidote have been unsuccessful. I don't want to seem cruel, but you have to understand, that thing is pure vermin. Creatures like this brought Europe to its knees with the plague. Robots, biological creatures are unpredictable. I much prefer things I can control. Unpredictable, huh? What is that? An iguana? This has to be the strangest office tour I have ever been on. Don't worry, Parker. Our next stop is the nanobot lab. Once you see it, you won't want to leave. 
Uh, excuse me, Dr. Smythe. I need someone with special clearance to help me take this down to B Sector. No, I don't have time for this. Uh, Gwen, maybe it's a good thing you're here. You can deal with some of this bureaucratic nonsense. A punishment for uh, trespassing. Go with him and catch up with us when you're done. Uh, Doctor, I think I'll escort her. You know, make sure she doesn't get... I understand. The beast is as enthralled by beauty as man is. Meet me in the lab when you're done. And don't wonder. It's an order, Miss Stacy. Sure, Dr. Smythe. Come on, Pete. i have been great meeting you, Doctor. Likewise, Parker. It, is that... You've got to be kidding me. It's taking things a little far, isn't it? It's a terrible legacy. But Dr. Smythe says we're putting it in the past. I believe him. <laughs> What did you do? I... I didn't do anything. Peter, I think it senses your blood. It matters. It's clearly reacting to something. I've never... Oh my god! It's breaking the glass!
This only leads to one thing. But, but what about the antidote? If it worked before, then... Connors was exposed to an earlier strain. You couldn't even call it a virus back then. It's evolved, mutated. There's no antidote to cure this. What if I stop all the cross species? There's no question they should be stopped. But even if they are, there's, there's still a risk that the virus will spread. Gwen, stay calm. I'm not gonna let anything happen to you, okay? We'll figure it out. I'll find Dr. Smythe and the others. Hopefully, it's not too late. Wait, Peter. Take the Oz phone on the table. The what? It's the name of the Oscorp phone. It's still a prototype, but at least I'll be able to call you. Okay. I'll get back as soon as I can. <laughs> Actually better than I thought. That intro was a bit too long though. Oh, I think I'm gonna love this phone.
center of the park. Now that we can have a good look, we can confirm this is not the same reptilian creature that recently terrorized Manhattan. Strangely, it's...
though. My fellow biologists are responsible. Those vultures. I wonder if Michael Morbius led the charge. Nice enough guy, but no one else seemed more interested in my research. Always insisted I focus on bats instead of reptiles for some reason. Uh, no Batman out there, Doc. That's just ridiculous. There is a rat, though. And that rhymes, anyway. I'll bet that one's particularly contagious. You see, it's not the new cross species themselves that alarm me so much as the deadly virus that's resulted as a side effect. And you say it's infected half my former colleagues. And Gwen. And Gwen. And our only hope is what? Alistair Smythe and his band of killer robots. They destroy the city worse than the virus could ever hope to. There has to be another way. Well, you don't think I broke in here just to tell you the good news, do you? Wait. What are you talking about? I'm gonna get you out of here. Really? Spider-Man breaking out the lizard from its cage. <laughs> Who's the crazy one here? I'm through discussing this. Time to make a decision. Wait. If you do this, you must promise me. No matter what happens, when it's all over, you must bring me back here. Now, let's go before my medication wears off and I realize how insane this situation really is. As soon as I get this door open, you run as fast as you can, okay? Right. Got it. Carry. anytime soon. Knows his way around this place. 
Time to get these guys in their cells and play nurse to the injured. Oh, God, no! Don't hurt me, Chuck! Beneficial to your mental health. Yeah, that's right. Let's just twist away our problems. At least some of them happy. I'll dance with you later. Yeah. 
And the spectacular Spider-Man frees the dashing damsel in distress. I'll thank you later. Hey, come back! You know, you can thank me by getting back to your cell. It's your turn to let me through. Never thought I'd see men happen this way. Beautiful city, huh? City I almost destroyed. The past is the past, Connors. Let's focus on the future. Or at least the present. Let's go to my apartment.
a door service. It's not much, but it's a quiet place to work while you develop the antidote. You live here? Are you kidding? I couldn't afford to rent the closet in this place. It belongs to an old friend of my Aunt May. His name's Stan. I'm house-sitting for the summer. Mm, I don't know about this. Well, the other option is going back to the lizard's lab in the sewer. Oh, this'll do. Where should we set up the lab? Uh, over here. I guess we start with getting whatever equipment you need to work on an antidote. There's the computer. Kind of old, but it works. A few books for reference over there, not much. Oh, there's a copy of Splice of Life over there, and the television. Guess we should see if we've made the news. We're stunned today when Kurt Connors, the lizard himself, escaped from the Beloit Psychiatric Hospital with the aid of costume vigilante Spider-Man. There's no clear motive for the breakout, but police have started a citywide search for these two extremely dangerous fugitives. Now, back to the <sighs> story. I see guess that's a yes. Brilliant. Now they'll think you're the villain, Peter. This is all my fault. Doc, if you help me come up with a cure, we'll both be heroes. I'll contact Gwen and see what's happening. Wait, will you tell Gwen? About me? I have to. Just another reason to create the antidote, right? Now, what are we gonna need to set up your lab? For starters, all my research. I stored my files on a tablet with an Ouroboros insignia on it. But it won't be easy to locate. No problem there. I broke into Oscorp once, I can do it again. Peter, be careful. If Oscorp was continuing my work in secret, we don't know what to expect. This is not the same serum that infected me. It's a virus now. So I've heard. So, ready to play God? <sighs> you do remind me of him. Your father. Uh, uh, Gwen's calling. Pete. Gwen! I'm glad you're alright. Listen, I'm with Connors now. I know, Peter. The whole city knows. You broke him out of prison? It's a mental facility. Are you out of your mind? You know what Connors did to the city. He created this problem to begin with. And he can create an antidote. This isn't the lizard. This is Dr. Connors. <sighs> can you bring my father back? <sighs> Gwen. I trust you, Peter, but I can't trust him. I'm sorry. I had no choice. But he's the key to getting you better. And right now, I need you to gather his research for me. I can't. Dr. Smythe sent it to Oscorp's archive facility. Just hold on a little while longer. I'm on my way. Hurry, Pete. I know we're quarantined, but it feels like we're prisoners. Smythe says he's working on a solution. I'm going to get you out of this, Gwen. I hope so. Gwen's been through a lie. I murdered her father, Peter. You didn't kill anyone. It was the lizard. I want to believe you. Let's make Gwen believe it. Peter, wait. What are these things? Oh yeah, I was working on those before everything went down. I call them my spider tracers. Long story short, if I stick this on a police antenna, I should be able to listen to everything they say. Should? I haven't exactly had time to try them out yet. No time like the present though, huh? I'll make a detour on the way to Oscorp Archives.
Story's pretty okay so far. Pretty sure it's completely different to the movie. Yeah, the swinging's actually all cool, right. I like it. guys enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe let me know if you want me to continue this playthrough and uh, let me know any other ps3 games ps5 games if you want to see yeah. thanks for watching